The Google Fiber self-installation kit comes with everything you need to get your Google Fiber service up and running at home. This video will take you through the steps to get set up. In your kit, you'll find one to four Google Wi-Fi points, depending on the pack you've ordered, a power adapter for each Google Wi-Fi point, a power adapter for the fiber jack, an ethernet cable, and your quick start guide. You'll be connecting your Google Wi-Fi into your Google Fiber Jack, which has already been installed in your home by one of our technicians. You'll also need a smartphone or tablet. The Fiber Jack is where the internet signal enters your home. In a single family home, the Fiber Jack is usually on a wall. In an apartment, it may be on a wall, behind an access panel, in an entry bedroom or bathroom closet, or you may connect to an ethernet wall plate. Take a moment to find your Fiber Jack before continuing. First, connect the fiber jack to a power outlet using the fiber jack power adapter. The fiber jack LED will first flash, then stay either solid blue or solid green, indicating that it's ready for the next steps. Now let's connect your first Google Wi-Fi point. Flip over your Google Wi-Fi and connect the ethernet cable to the green port on the bottom of your Google Wi-Fi and to the ethernet port on your fiber jack or wall plate. There are two Ethernet ports on your Google Wi-Fi, so make sure the one you're connecting to is the green one. Then connect the power adapter cord to the Google Wi-Fi and a power outlet. When done correctly, your Google Wi-Fi will slowly pulse blue to indicate it's on and ready for setup. Now, you can download the Google Home app to your smartphone or tablet to set up and control your Google Wi-Fi. The app is free and available on Google Play for Android or Apple's App Store for iOS. Once you've downloaded the Google Home app, go ahead and set up a home for your devices. If you've already set up a home, then you're ready to connect your first Google Wi-Fi point. Go ahead and follow the instructions on screen to set up your network. Next, point your phone or tablet's camera at the QR code on the bottom and follow the instructions. For best results, place your Google Wi-Fi points in an open space. The higher off the floor, the better, like this. Then you can personalize your Wi-Fi network name and password. Don't worry, the app will walk you through the remaining steps. If you have any additional Google Wi-Fi points, you can set them up to extend your Wi-Fi coverage. Just remember to tell the Google Home app where you placed your Wi-Fi points. Now you're connected. Your Google Wi-Fi will automatically update to keep giving you the best service and features. The Google Home app includes some features you might find useful, like the ability to select a priority device, pause internet, and more. When you're done installing, you may want to take some time to explore the app. You can also download the Google Fiber app, also free from Google Play for Android or Apple's App Store for iOS. You'll be able to connect with support, view your bill, run speed tests, or view your plan details. Need help? Visit support.google.com fiber or contact us through the Google Fiber app. You can also call, email, chat, or DM us. For more information about how to make the most of your new internet, visit our website at fiber.google.com or check out our social media channels. Welcome to Google Fiber.